Bad crack. Spill everywhere. Bad crack. I gripped it too hard. I got too excited. You gripped it too hard. I gripped it too hard. I gripped it too hard and it came out. I don't know. All right. Well, what's up, YouTube? We're uh, we're trying something a little different here. We just did a long, long episode of Miles Sanders. You can yep. check that out on the podcast. There's links below. Or on YouTube. It'll be there. Yep. But uh, we wanted to do a quick short version of that. We're joined with our buddy Matt Foreman here. He's a uh, Penn State specialist. You can catch him at Fat Mormon on Twitter, or you can just search for mm. Matt Foreman. and uh, Great Twitter handle. You can find him over there. All right, so we're throwing five minutes up on the clock. We'll see how it goes. Hit and begin. Miles Sanders. All right, so we got Miles Sanders. Combine official height and weight, 5'11", 211. Ran a 4, 4'9", 40. <laughs> 20 bench pass reps, 36-inch vert. 124 broad. We got burst. The 6.89 three cone, which made everybody's organic explosion. Because, <laughs> yas, queen. <laughs> that was one of the things he was knocked for pre combine. Right. was a lack of organic explosion. <laughs> I think he's got free range explosion. Right. Um, so, number one running back recruit coming out of high school. Been making the rounds lately. Um, we, we talked about Penn State's offense being built on the RPOs. Um, and would you say that the Penn State line was better, worse, or the same this year from the Saquon Barkley years to now, Matt? Running better, passing worse. Okay. Uh, probably about the same, but that doesn't help Sanders a whole lot. So was he running through better holes than Barkley or? Marginally better. Okay. Would you say that the offensive weapons were better, worse, or the same? Worse. Worse. So what happened? They lost Mike Asicki, Deshaun Hamilton. Okay, so big losses there. And the OC. And, and the offensive coordinator, Joe Moorhead, left. And Ricky Ricky Ronnie is not Joe Moorhead. Okay, so but still kind of predicated on the same RPO-style offense. It comes kind of into trace. They maybe kind of figure it out in the box and then kind of do what they're going to do. Exactly, yeah. The problem is, is that Jonathan Vilma left out a little tip last year is that the left tackle kind of gives up what the play call is going to be depending on how he's standing. So I think teams may have keyed in on that. Exactly. All right. All right. So let's get into what he does as a football player, what you like, don't like. Um, I'll give you the floor first, uh, Matt. What, what's your what's your big likes and your maybe your couple of your dislikes? Big likes is agility. The guy can beat you in a phone booth. Um, he's got solid agility. He's got a little bit of power there. I mean, most of his weight is, is the waist below. So he's got some nice thick legs there, nice tree trunks. Um, Good lower half. Exactly. Um, he can definitely uh, outrun you a bit to a certain extent with that with that four four nine speed. Um, and I think that he is underrated as a pass catcher. Some things I'm not impressed with him a whole lot is his his fumbling. He had four fumbles last year, um, and he's also a bit of a bouncer as well too into the second level. So some things to be mindful of when you're scouting Miles Sanders. Yeah, agreed. I think the fumbling is a little bit of a a knock. I think. Maybe trying to do a little too much, living in Saquon's shadow a little too much, trying to maybe replicate some of that. Needs to figure out his own stuff. And Quit hurdling. The, the bouncing agreed with. I think uh, the best things he can do is put his foot in the ground and get up. And then Right. When he you know, does d decide to do that, it's pretty good. Right. And that's what you want from your running back is to get north. And not, when he plants that not foot, press it's so twitchy. And try to rely 100% always on the right. uh, athletic ability, but just kind of let it happen right. once he's going upfield. For sure. Um, where do you guys, I, I agree with you. I think the passing game is, is knocked for no reason with Miles Sanders. I think that could Agreed. be the best thing that gets him on the field at the next level. I think he ran routes from all the different positions on the field. Hands I don't think he's catching. an outstanding route runner, but I do think like Jay Wayne just alluded to pretty solid catcher drops. I saw only, one. I saw one. There's only five games you can watch, but only saw one drop. And uh, you know, I, I didn't think he was like out running people route wise like beating linebackers or whatever but he was doing a good job in the past game getting his head back to the quarterback and then once he caught it with his hands getting his head up field right and you put this guy in space right and he's a really good player like you said you get him in a phone booth and he's good so you give him some room he's really strong i think the lateral agility is probably the strongest point of his game springy player twitchy um it, also good in the kick return game so that's a plus for him and going to the pros all right we got 56 seconds left. Well, we, could, we could stretch it for a second here, but... Well, I'm hitting that sound button when what, the uh, goes on, so... <laughs> Where do you have him in your RB ranks here? RB2. RB2. Jay Wayne? I'm going to go 
RV five B. So who would be <laughs> give give me the give me the four right, Jacobs, give me the five A Montgomery Harris Rodney Anderson and I think I got to go Travion and then I can go Miles Sanders. I'm I'm pretty much right there with you. I'm Montgomery Jacobs Anderson Harris. I like Travion a lot. I could be down with taking Miles Sanders ahead of uh, Travion, but I do. Yeah. I'm a big fan of of Travion, so it, I know you don't have to take them anywhere near the same spots. And this is where all this kind of stuff gets difficult. Is that you're, you know, I don't think you need to take Robbie Anderson, Rodney Anderson, in front of. Uh, go ahead, hit the button. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Shot clock's up. I don't think you need to take Rodney Anderson in front of Miles Sanders. I don't think you need to take Travion in front of Miles Sanders. You can wait. You can make the trades and move back, gain equity, and and if you really want those players and let somebody else have the Miles Sanders stock in that particular case. Right. Uh, anything else to add to uh, to Miles Sanders here? Yeah, I just I think he's going to be drafted too high for my ta- taste, and I think I'm probably going to miss the boat. But if, if you like him and you feel convicted, then go ahead and reach on up to get him because that's what you're going to have to and, do. And why are you so in the boat? What what What's the reason that you want to take him that high? We haven't seen the best of Miles Sanders yet. I like that. We've only just begun. <laughs> We've only just begun. Foreman's Dewey's. big on the... He's, he's big on the uh, higher ceiling than maybe some other guys. I maybe. think it's... A, we talked about this. Could be a good home run swing. I think there's a lot of upside too. But I think if you're if, if you're swinging for a home run, I think you're... I think even if you miss the home run, you're probably getting a double. That's, that's fair enough. I wish he would have stayed for another year. I think he could develop into being a bit better running back in, instead of just relying on the athleticism. Uh, in total, but it's definitely there. And, and depending on the landing spot and, and the coaching staff, which all these guys are depending on the landing spot and right. the situation and the coaching staff of how they're going to progress and where they're going to end up. Absolutely. All right. Well, that'll do it for our quick YouTube shortened version. If you want some more, much more detail, we covered a lot of more, a lot more things, had a good time. Check out the uh, longer extended version of the Miles Sanders breakdown via podcast or YouTube. YouTube. Hit up the website, theffdynasty.com. Please hit subscribe, like the video, hit us below in the comments section, let us know what you think, and uh, we'll see you next time. You've been listening to the FF Dynasties. Married to the game. Sung it for you. (laughs) I'm terrible.